Postlac is better known as bovine growth hormone BGH, and it's a it's a GMO product. Um, there is naturally occurring growth home hormones in, in cattle. Uh, BGH, uh, the, the synthetic version, is given to dairy cows. It makes them produce, I think, up to 30% more milk at a time. Uh, it has its own problems, though. One is it has about a 70% greater risk of infection of the udders, uh, which is not good for the cow, and it also means that cow then needs to receive a lot more antibiotics than she normally would. And of course, we over-depend on antibiotics, and we're seeing a lot of antibiotic resistance. Um, the FDA tells us that there's absolutely no difference between milk from non-treated cows and milk from treated cows. However, this product is banned in the European Union. It's banned in Canada. It's banned in a number of industrialized countries. Uh, it is allowed in this country. It does contain a, uh, a factor, IGF-1, which has been associated with uh, increased risk for certain types of cancers. The jury is still out whether the elevated levels of this substance in the treated milk is more uh, of a risk factor for cancer than milk without it. Uh, but some scientists, for example, in Canada, have shown that those elevated levels are more carcinogenic. From what I've read recently, the FDA still insists that that hormone, uh, even if it is in the milk, is not active in humans. So it has, the hormone itself has no impact on human health and human development. There are other people who say we see a lot of pre uh, uh, premature uh, puberty, especially in girls. Uh, a lot of people think that might be a connection, not just between um, hormones used in milk, but hormones used in other animal production. Uh, the U.S. government says that's not the case. Um, I think more research is probably needed to, to find out for sure whether that is the case or not. And of course, there could be other factors at play why girls are reaching puberty at an earlier age and why they're developing breast tissue at an earlier age. There's, there's so many things in our environment that are, are wrong, and um, I think we, we just don't know the exact answer yet. The recalls from contaminated beef and, and eggs as well, I don't think is so much a, a byproduct of the use of hormones and antibiotics. Um, it has to do, A, with the living conditions of the animals. When they recalled half a billion eggs, uh, I think it was back in 2000, a few years ago, I don't remember the exact year, uh, half a billion eggs were found to be infected with salmonella, and that's because the living conditions of these laying hens were so atrocious and so filthy that they got sick, and they passed that disease on to their eggs, and then the eggs become contaminated. Uh, in terms of E. coli, there is some research that suggests that when you feed cattle uh, soybeans and corn and other grains, of course, cattle are ruminants. They're supposed to eat grass. They weren't evolved to eat grains. And when you feed them this, it can increase the risk for E. coli. They also feed them grains that have already been used for distilleries. And what's left over after you remove the alcohol, you give that grain to the animals. And that also increases the likelihood of dangerous E. coli. Um, so that's one reason why we're seeing these, these types of problems.